hi and good morning i like to welcome you to poem praise too and this is just going to be a real quick vid for you um i am going to be featuring we're going to be reading another book so besides the black woman's guide to understanding the black man our next book that we're going to get into is lies my teacher told me now this book is by james w lowen last name is spelled l-o-e-w-e-n and he is the author of lies across america and it states on the front cover everything your american history textbook got wrong now let's go ahead and crack the book open turn some pages also by james w lowen are these books as follows lies across america what are his historic sites get wrong Lies my teacher told me about Christopher Columbus, the Mississippi Chinese, between black and white. Mississippi, conflict and change, in parentheses, with Charles Salas, E-T-A-L, period. Rethinking our past recognizing facts fiction and lies in American history social science in the courtroom sundown towns a hidden dimension of American racism dedicated to all American history teachers who teach against their textbooks and parentheses and their ranks are growing acknowledgments the people listed below in alphabetical order Talk with me, commented on chapters, suggested sources, corrected my mistakes, or provided other moral or material aid. I thank them very much. They are Ken Ames, Charles Arnadude, Stephen Aaron, James Baker, Jose Barrario, Carol Birkin, Sanford Berman, Robert Bieber, Bill Bigelow, Michael Blakely, Linda Brew, Tim Brooks, Josh Brown, Lonnie Brunch, Vernon Burton, Claire Cootie, Richard N. Curtin, Peter Daniel, Kevin Dan, Martha Dan, Margot Del Vicio, Susan Dixon, Ariel Dorfman, Mary Dreyer, Shirley Ingo, Bill Evans, John Faden, Patrick Ferguson, Paul Finkelman, Francis Fitzgerald, William Fitz John Franklin, Michael Frisch, Mel Garber, James Gardner, Josh Garrity, Elise Gayette, Mary E. Haas, Patrick Hagobian, William Habian, Gordon Henderson, Mark um, Higgledorf, Richard Hill, Mark Hirsch, Dean Ho, Joe Hoggy, Jean Hook, Frederick Hoxie, David Hutchison, Carol Jackson, Clifton H. Johnson, Elizabeth Judge, Stuart Kaufman, David Kelly, Roger Kennedy, Paul Kleppner, J. Morgan Kalzer, Gary Kulik, Jill Lorraine, Ken Lawrence, Mary Lehman, Steve Lewin, Gary, Garrett Livermore, Lucy Lowen, Nick Lowen, Barbara M. Loss, Mark Light, John Marciano, J. Dan Marshall, Juan Morrow, Edith Mayo, James McPherson, Dennis Meadows, Danella Meadows, Dennis Medina, Betty Meggers, Milton Meltzner, Deborah 
Minkart, Donna Bogenstern, Nana Passett, Janet Noble, Roger Norland, Jeff Nyland, Nygert, Jim O'Brien, Wardell Payne, Mark Pendergast, Larry Pilser, Barry Regan, Ellen Rees, Joe Reedy, Roy Risenwig, uh, Harry Rubenstein, Faith Davis Ruffins, John Salter, Saul Snitterman, Barry Schwartz, John Anthony Scott, Louis Siegel, Ruth Selleck, Be Betty Sharp, Brian Sherman, David Shimon, Beatrice Siegel, Barbara Clark Smith, Luther Sparer, Gerard Starr, Mark Stoller, Bill Sturdivant, Lon Taylor, Linda Tucker, Harriet Tyson, Ivan Van Sertima, Herman Viola, Virgil J. Vogel, Debbie Warner, Barbara Woods, Nancy Wright, and John Uell. And excuse me for some of those names if I said them incorrectly, but those are the names that uh, Mr. Lowen gives thanks to. Now, three institutions help materially. The Smithsonian Institution awarded me two senior postdoctoral fellowships. Members of his staff provided lively intellectual stimulation, as did my fellow fellows at the National Museum of American History interned at the Smithsonian from the University of Michigan, John Hopkins, and especially Portland State University, chased down errant facts. The flexible University of Vermont allowed me to go on leave to work on this book, including a sabbatical leave in 1993. Finally, the press, Andre Schifrin, and especially my editor, Diane Wacho, provided consistent encouragement and intelligent criticism. Hmm. As I, to the second edition, as I encouraged the moral and intellectual torture of suggesting myself to six new high school American history textbooks in 2006 to 2007, the following assisted in important ways. Cindy King, David Luz, Sarah Luz, uh, Natalie Martin, Jalothi Natarahan, the Life Cycle Institute and Department of Sociology at Catholic University of America, and Joy, the guide dog in training. Many of the folks thank for their assistance with the first edition, including those at the New Press, also helped this time. So did Amanda Patton as Simon and Schuster. That does complete the introduction. Now I'm going to give you the contents, the actual chapters that we're going to be going through in this book. We have introduction to the second edition. Introduction. Something has gone very wrong. Handicapped by history. The process of hero making, 19, excuse me, 1493. The true importance of Christopher Columbus. The truth about the first Thanksgiving. Red eyes. Gone with the wind. The invisibility of racism in American history textbooks. John Brown and Abraham Lincoln, the invisibility of anti-racism in American history textbooks, the land of opportunity, watching Big Brother, what textbooks teach about the federal government, see no evil. Choosing not to look at the war in Vietnam. Down the memory hole, the disappearance of the recent past. Progress in our most important profit. Why is history taught like this? What is the result? of teaching history like this. Afterward, the future lies ahead 
and what to do about them. Now, as you see, I don't know if you can see that. It's 13 of them that I just read to you that is in the contents. And we're going to be breaking that down chapter by chapter. So next coming to you is the introduction to the second edition of the lies my teacher told me. Okay, so stay tuned to Poem Praise 2. I want you and your family to be blessed and may peace and blessings be it upon you this day. Until I talk to you soon, later y'all, from me to you on Poem Praise 2, peace out and peace be upon you. All right now. Till next time.